So for the final verdict for the CR42 Falco, I'll be looking at the strengths and weaknesses I believe this plane has. So let's get on to the strengths. The machine guns and the air target belts that they are given are good enough to take down any fighters that you face. This is a really good thing, you never feel like you're underpowered when you're using these things. The fact that you can set targets on fire very fast and also a few shots can even just easily crit anything that you come up against, it's always nice to have. The turn time means that you can basically outturn anything that you face, and if you can't, such as lower BR biplanes, you can outrun them. The engine on this aircraft is not very good, but it still means that you can outrun any biplane you come up against. So if you can't outturn them, you can at least get away, realign, and start again. 800 rounds is sufficiently enough to deal with at least 45 aircraft before having to reload. 800 rounds on a low velocity uh, 2 12.7s is wonderful, um, as long as you can get the accuracy right. You can push the engine to the limit with wet for a long time before it overheats and starts to struggle. A thing with lower tier aircraft is that usually you either don't have wet, or the wet you have is it doesn't really last very long and your engine overheats very fast. With this plane, the Falco, that does not happen, so that's great. It is easy to engage with more than one fighter at once, mainly because of the small turning circle of this plane. As you saw in both uh, videos, I was able to engage multiple people at once, making sure that they couldn't get guns on me and I could get guns on them. And that is a great thing to have when you're flying about. And so, on to the weaknesses. With the BR of this plane, you will come up against early war aircraft which are just better than your plane. There is a reason why the Falco was not made <laughs> as uh, much as stuff like the Spitfires, the Hurricanes and the bf one nines, even stuff like the Wildcats, because it, it generally is inferior in basically every way except for turning. If you come up against pilots who know how to energy fight, this plane is going to struggle. You, there is only so many times you can dodge an energy fighter. Um, especially a good one, and if he has any nous about, about him, he will make sure he will not engage you in a turn voice, kind of leaving you hopeless, um, unless you get over Allied AA or over your airfield. The low velocity of the 12.7mm guns may throw your aim off if you are used to other high velocity guns. It's kind of like the HE-112B-0 with the 20mm, you do have to get used to the trajectory of the guns and how much lead that you have to give. Just a little damage to your aircraft will hamper your ability to turn, losing your combat effectiveness. As you saw in realistic battles, just having pink wings means that this thing, it loses a lot of the advantages that it has, mainly due to its turning. This plane will struggle against anything with more than one engine. Attacking bombers, attack aircraft is not great in this, especially if they have Vickers machine guns of 50 cals pointing at you. So try and stick against fighters, and only if you have to, engage bombers and attackers. So overall, this is an interesting plane. In my opinion, it is the best biplane. But it doesn't really come up against biplanes. It comes up against early war, um, early war monoplanes. So... Overall, it's a great plane, as long as you find a way of taking out those attackers and those bombers. But anyway, thank you for watching, and have a great day.